Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Dark Cloud 2. I did a few things after the last episode. First of all, by delivering our scoops to Donnie, the special photos that we take of bosses and enemies in dungeons doing special things, or like Master Utan or King Marden, we get random stuff. And we got an, an explorer's cap, an adventurer's cap, I don't remember, maybe it's archaeologist or something. We got, we got a new head. So I was like, I'm gonna put that on. And then I was like, every time I take damage, I take more than a quarter of my health, and that can't be right. So I looked up the locations of the Fruit of Eden and stuff. There's only two in the first uh, area. Apparently Max and Monica are basically supposed to be even as long as you distribute it properly. So since Monica started at 48 health and 8 defense, Max was supposed to be there as well. So I missed the Fruit of Eden, I went back and got that. And then I'm going to continue to use the guide to get the rest of them because I found out you can permanently miss them. As you complete stuff, like the buildings in this game, just like in the last one, chests show up. But apparently there's a limited number of locations for them and they have a chance of showing up in the same spot. And if they do, the new chest replaces the old one and the game counts it as we got it. So you can permanently lose Fruits of Eden and armor upgrades. That might have been the same for the last game, I'm not sure. So, we're going to go through the building very carefully. I also leveled up our fishing. Our fishing rod got more resiliency. I put all of the points into the line not breaking immediately. I also upgraded Max's hammer to the cubic hammer. And... The... If I click on this, I think that... Yeah, the cursor shows up. Perfect. So, the core... The armor for the ride pod, because this is just flat damage reduction, like this is take 6 less damage. If we were to be hit for 30, this would make it take 24. And then this would add to it and make it take 20. These are additive for the defense total. The core dictates how many upgrades you can get, and you can just repeatedly buy them from Cedric. For increasingly high values. Because we've upgraded the core once, this one can hold up to 24, which means I'm going to upgrade the crap out of this, so the ride pod doesn't just fall over dead all the time. Aside from that, I also noticed that uh, the medallions that we get from the dungeons and stuff, some of them are going to be for fishing. And in the guide I saw for fishing, it mentioned another game that I now remember, which is basically golfing. So once we kill all the monsters in the dungeon, we're supposed to go fishing and golfing too. Lots of extra <laughs> stuff to do, I guess. Anyhow, we need to go see the Furbits. Because the Giorama stuff is what gives us all the Fruits of Eden and the potato pies and the parfaits and stuff. Ah, it's you! Is everyone alright? Boss! We were gone a long time. What have you been up to? We'll tell you everything later. What about Holly? Where is she? Where's Holly? I am sorry, but Holly isn't anywhere. Okay! Hold it a minute. Listen, you two. Now that we've got everyone together, it's time for us to hold up our end of the deal. In return, can I ask you two to go search for Holly for us? By the look of things, I guess Holly really did find that legendary rainbow butterfly. It must be true that all those who lay eyes on it never leave the forest again. The only way to find Holly is to find the rainbow butterfly first and fall under the same spell. And then, just break the spell, of course. Rainbow butterfly, huh? I don't know. Do you really think it exists? Alrighty, we got ourselves a deal. We'll help you guys out, and you go find Holly Faris. Alright? All clear? That didn't sound like she was agreeing. Okay, we'll try. It's settled then. You better get a move on, lads. Yeah! yeah! I feel like they're getting two things and we're only getting one. Ah, oh, they have become one with the forest. What are they gonna do? I have no idea. What in the world's that noise? 
Watched acting. I remember that now. There's no Fairy King magic. We have a giant robot. What the heck is that? I don't know. <gasps> wow! Whoa! I can't believe it! This is just amazing! What an incredible machine! <laughs> How cool is that? With this thing, you can make anything you want. Plant trees, build houses, whatever. Truly amazing! Can I get on board? Sure! By all means! This here is the control room for our pal, Carpenterium. Carpenterium. This is the ultimate building machine, forged from all of the technology handed down through our fervent generations. You'd think they were the bunny people. Besides houses and buildings, it can build lots of natural things too, even trees and rivers. Max is enjoying this so much more than Monica. Looks like we can bring back Jurak's origin point with this. Hey, don't forget to find Holly for us now. Yes, we know. What's that? That's the reactor where you put the geostones. Geostones? Yep. Geostones are mysterious stones invented by the ancients. The geostones contain all the advanced knowledge of the ancient ones. Carpenterian is a revolutionary machine that uses the technology packed inside the geostones to make new things. Atla. When you put a geostone into the reactor, Carpentieri can star the data for building whatever is recorded on the geostone. That way, you can make new things. Just to warn you, even with the necessary data, some buildings can only be built on certain types of land. Georama explanation added to the help menu. I think it's like Monica said, someone changed the forest here. But if you collect geostones hidden in the forest, you just might be able to change this place back to the way it used to be. Sounds great. We'll do it. Let's go then, Monica. You bet. We're counting on you to find Holly. So we've got fishing Atla and golf. Plus, it's a dungeon Max, crawler. Look. You can pass between this time and mine through this gate. You just use that stone, your Atlamilia. What? You mean this red stone? That's right. It's not just a pretty rock, you know. It's got mystical powers that let you pass through time. The red one lets you go to the future, the blue one lets you go to the past. And the one I've got is the blue Atlamilia. They each have their own powers. Red brings you to the future, and blue to the past. I already said that. With the two of them, we can use this gate to move back and forth between past and future. When we get Jurak's origin point back, we can use this gate to go see him. Hold in a minute. My father gave me this stone. Why did he have something like this? They say an Atlamilia can pick who it wants to belong to. It must have picked your father. And then it picked you, Max. What? Me? Anyway, the main thing now is to get Jurak back. I bet Jurak can tell us all kinds of things. About Griffin, about the Rainbow Butterfly. I guess you would know. Now we've really got to get to work. Her hair goes down to her ankles. That's impressive. We have to get Sindane back into shape and bring back the Great Elder, Jurak. All right. You can now use Carpenterian, so why don't you try rebuilding Sindane? You can jump through the time gate 100 years into the future and accidentally hit the A button twice. You may meet people you've never met before, or find new events waiting there to happen. But first things first, right now your main priority is to bring back Jurak. 
And it said that at 0% completion, there was goodies on the other side. Also, Eric's coming with us. He's very unassuming, but we did actually have him with us the whole time. Because if we go to the character screen, he's the civilian we've got. I don't think he does anything other than make us bombs. Yeah, if I just view status, he builds up points or something. Or maybe it's just once per use, and I'd have to send him back to the train, but either way, he made us some bombs. And some- ah, there it is. Fruit of Eden. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure it said there was two things here. I will look for the other. There it is. Man, the future's tiny. At the moment, anyway. Potato pie. So I will actually, for the sake of evenness, and because we only have two characters, div like, divert, g get, d divide them evenly. I don't know why I had to think about that for a while. Monica has 48, he had 48. We're gonna go even, but starting with him. Potato pie is his favorite, not Monica's. So there's nothing I could do about that. But Max is better now. Man, I forgot how much more, like, in-depth this was, like, because we can just make this stuff. Like, we actually have to make it out of the materials now, so there's no, okay, the Geos gave us this, so now we can only place 20 pieces of road. I can make as much road as I want, as long as I have the materials, we just need to find the recipe for it. And I don't think we're gonna need to re-get them, like, we have rocks, I think we're always gonna have rocks. And Furbit's houses, but they can only go here. Then you can place them. We can actually paint them different colors. So that's pretty interesting. Clean up place parts. Culture is just like the people there. Apparently we get culture points. And there's an analysis of everything. Probably for events. Yeah, Elder Drac revived after these conditions have been met. And it'll tell us more as we start unlocking them. And that's the actual percent complete on the side. So we can know when we get 100% uh, completion. 2,990 Holland remaining. Maybe there is a limited amount of stuff we can place per area? As far as the ride pod's concerned, I was actually going to buy the barrel cannon and the caterpillar. But if I remember right, this thing doesn't shoot terribly fast. And it does a lot less damage. I think it was like actually 40 or something versus the 100 that our fists do with smashing. And I was definitely going to buy these treads. But it's called the Caterpillar and it moves slow. I was just thinking, oh, this will be so much faster than walking. Apparently not. And our core is already really good, so much more so than the shield kit can provide for. So we're just going to level up our armor a lot. And that will greatly reduce how often our ride pod dies. It also occurs to me that all the grinding that I lost was stupid because there's a save progress button. And it just goes straight to the memory card. Like, I kept thinking, all right, I'll do two or three and then I'll leave and save. I'll do two or three and then I'll leave and save. And then I do five and die on the fifth one. Hey, you're back. Master Utan, you're looking a lot better now. Sure. I just ate something I wasn't supposed to, after all. I'm going to be more careful from now on. Yeah, that's a good idea. By the way, we want to ask you a favor. Hmm? We want to get through here. Do you think you can move that boulder for us? Oh, that? Piece of cake. Wait right here. Just like the first game. Master Utan, you're so strong. How about that? Guess I still got it. Ow! Are you okay? <laughs> oh boy, I've gone and sprained my back. I think I'll rest here a while. You go on ahead. No injury is worse than back injuries. Maybe I hate you that. should exercise a little more often. But thanks a lot. You really helped us out. Right. We'll see you later. Never hurt your back, it is the worst, especially your lower back. This is a Geostone episode floor. Apparently there's only one. Oh, it's a molar. I found out something cool about the pumpkin, guys. First of all, isn't that neat 
that like the mole is supposed to be underground so the experience stays underground. I like that there's no chance of you losing that. Magical crystal. But the pumpkin guys that throw the bombs at them? Oh my god, perfect. I'm gonna charge this up so there's no chance I can screw it up. But watch this. Throw something at me. You dodged! Throw something at me. You know what? I'll charge it up. That's good for me, too. You can bounce it back, and it knocks him down. And then you one-shot him. And I'm like, that's a convenient way to not take more damage. Our gun is super far from leveling up. I think Monica's attack is actually going to outscale it if it doesn't already. Plus, her steals. Much more useful. In the, the other times I've played this game, granted, I was still little. I always prioritized Max. And then doing anything with Monica was so painful. Is that, is that it? Is it the purple? Purple? Hey, it's those mask guys. It actually looks like an egg. You received a Geostone. That's cool, so there's only one. You don't actually have to dig all over the place for it. Get knocked back. And get wrecked. The face of Prajna. They were actually of Prajna before, but I don't remember what they were actually called. I know it's lots of quote-unquote reused assets and stuff, but they, I mean, they made them look better. And I enjoyed the first game a lot, so I think that's kind of wow, it made me thirsty. Instead of poisoning me, it made me thirsty. It breathed on me, and I'm thirsty. Sorry, I just needed a moment to process that. Abs bonus? I've never seen that one before. Maybe more options show up as we get further in, because I've gotten a lot of those. And it's never done anything other than heal me and repair stuff. I'm glad for that. What the thirst does is that uh, you can't eat food to heal until you drink water. Which we still have from the very beginning of the game, because nothing has ever made us thirsty before. Can I hit you from here? I think I could, but I messed it up. I'm glad that I took less damage there. I'm gonna try this one, too. Give me something good. Good. Angel further restored your health and cured all status ailments. I basically just did that with items. Oof. Oh, by the way, one of the reasons I got through the Monica level as I did, not to mention the grinding that I did beforehand, but I found out that uh, items, like bombs and stuff, in Dark Cloud 1, when you killed something with a bomb, you got no experience at all because you didn't use a weapon to kill it. But in this game, they drop experience. So what it does... 7 Earth Element? I've never seen it give any more than 4 of anything, that's cool. But what it does in this game... A more Flame Crystals. What was I talking about? Oh, right, the experience stuff. Okay. In this game, it splits it 50-50 between your weapons. So that's actually a good way to level up your offhand if your main hand's the only one that's powerful. I think, anyway. So I use that to blow up the tortoises, because tortoises are pretty strong against Monica's stuff. I think I put some scale in her sword, since it needed it to level up anyway. And then she did a lot more da uh, damage to them. I mean, I might as well use a key, but I think this is kind of pointless, because I have used a key on one of these before, and it opened up and it was like, the chest has nothing. I was like, are you kidding me? Man, there's so many different lakes in this one. The one that I went fishing in last time did not have nearly as many. Unfortunately, the fish around here don't like the batons or whatever they're called, like the grasshoppers. So we're basically out. Because I just fished until I ran out of bait. I mean, we still have the carrot, but I don't think that's helping or anything. That was not the block button. I held the, the wrong trigger down. See, because I, like, I, I think I can just block this. I've done it before. I want to kill him with the gun, but I probably shouldn't. Yeah, he got stuck on the rock. See, the ro I knew the rock would kill you. One way or another. Hey, pumpkin head, I'm going to sneak up on you and throw a rock at you. Yeah. Bang, bang. He died. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I think the hat goes better with this outfit. Probably because of the green. And the rest of it, it just looks like it's part of the same set. I feel like our hat matches quite well as well. Nine pink paint. 
I'll take it. Did I actually have any? You know what? We have a minute. So we'll go fishing up here in the special pond. And I'll show you guys what it looks like to fish in a dungeon. It's just like fishing outside of a dungeon, except you're in a dungeon. And you can turn the map off. So what you do is you wait a really long time, except not really because this is better than the first game, and you press down. Now when I hold down X, the fish never gets farther away either, which is amazing. Tapping in the direction makes the danger bar go down. When you hold down X, or A in my case, you reel it in closer. As long as it doesn't hit the danger, you don't lose the fish. So you have all the time you want. If you want to take half an hour to catch a fish, you can take half an hour to catch a fish. Just make sure you don't go too ham and miss it. Oh my god, it's raining. I haven't seen that yet, I don't think. I hope it's always raining on this floor, because if it is, I'm going to farm this floor for centuries. Noise in the forest. Just so much green with the rain, and then the smell of the rain. I go on about water a lot, it's because I really like water. Like, I know water brings bugs, but... I don't know, I still feel like it's a fair trade-off. These things are evil, I will kill them with my gun. Because if they spit on you, you get slow, which I found out the goo actually wears off in this game. It just lasts a few minutes. Which is arguably a few minutes too long. That is a Sonic Boomer. Bomber. Apparently, we're supposed to get on our ride pod here. But that must mean that these guys give crazy experience. And we have an upgraded weapon that I don't think most people have at this point. I didn't have the time to go through every possible combination, considering there's... I don't know how many thousands of combinations of just the, the plans that we have already, because I've got more than 100 scoops. Not scoops, just regular photos plus scoops. So I was like, I'm just gonna look up the recipes for stuff. And then I made this recipe. And if you didn't know this recipe, you couldn't have this, like, these arms this early. I also found out that the, uh... I found an album in Max's room. Of, uh, you can store your photos in here. Basically what it means is if you start another game, or if you or your friend are both playing, and your friend gets everything in the game, when you get this album in, like, the chapter one, when you go back to Max's house or whatever, or when you go back in chapter two, you can copy all of their photos, so you don't have to take all of the photos. If you 100% this game once and you want to play it again later, you just, you keep it. You don't have to do it anymore. And then you get things way earlier than you were supposed to, and it's cool because you're doing things early, and I like doing things early. It's just like when we did that Dark Souls run, because then... Wow, it still takes three hits to kill them? That's a little disappointing. Because I got every boss done before the gargoyles possible. Like, we even beat Sif and stuff. And I was like, we're not supposed to be able to do that yet, but I already have a plus 15 Claymore, and we're doing it. And it's done. Let's see what we get. You can't actually use it in the ride pod. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Okay, that was nice. That does happen sometimes when it stops abruptly, but not always. And we got another one over here. First, let's get the chest. More hunter crystals. Man, because I've been leveling up so many weapons and so many things require smash crystals, or destruction crystals for the smash rating, I'm like, oh my god, I'm running out. I actually used three of the power crystals to make this cubic hammer. I can't believe how many we've been getting. Every time I get power crystals, I die. So I save immediately after. It already did that, but I still appreciate the thought. I don't know if I said already as well, but the, uh, the ride pod does, for its experience, just get twice as much as you would for uh, the abs. Like if a monster normally gives 10 experience from the little blue things, the abs, you get 20. Because Max and Monica have two different weapons they have to level up. But the ride pod will only ever have one, whether that be swords or guns or fists or whatever. So because it only has one, it gets double the experience, I guess. Or maybe that was just a game like gameplay consideration for how much you have to get. Looks like you have to get off the ride pod. I figured as much. But I think... 
Monica can get these too. I love that. I'm so glad that there's two Atlamelia. I know they said Atlamelia, and that's probably how it's pronounced. But I feel like that sounds so much better. Also, I don't think they told the voice actors how to pronounce it. That's just how they saw it. Like, like how King Martin said uh, the Prisclean fish or Plis Prisline or something. But then they said Prisclean because they weren't there at the same time. They probably didn't actually tell him how to pronounce it. So that's what I'm sticking with. I don't think it'll come up too often. But it makes me happy. Please don't blow me up! Oh my god. Those things are evil. No, I'm gonna lose the experience. Go for it, Max. You got this. You got nothing. We got only shame and disappointment. Oh my god, a fire element? You're kidding me. Max, get off this thing. Your hammer is like entirely frost damage. Amazing. Totally gonna check the experience values of these guys afterhand. I totally love that we have a journal that does that. Back in Dark Lab 1, I just looked at our experience total, and then killed it, and then looked at it again to judge all of the numbers. Which, admittedly, I wish I knew exactly how much we needed to level up, but I'll take what I can get. It, it's still nice to not have to look that bit up at least. I guess that's more than half the battle or something. The blue seal. This floor appears to have a blue seal on it. Monica has been chosen by the blue at Lamelia. Dang it, now I'm saying it. You can't switch to her. By the great metal hand in the sky. Anyway, he's... Actually, no, I don't really know if he's any stronger. Against things that can get smashed, like armored enemies? Max probably... Wow, what? I don't remember them at all. The floor is called I'm a Pixie. But at the same time, I wasn't actually expecting tiny little pixies. They're like bats. But different. Did you thrust forward with a hammer? Wait, is that is that what your third attack is? Uh, maybe it was just because of how I was standing. Like, it looked like... Wow, they're like piranha plant monsters. It looked like he thrusted at him with a hammer, and while I'm sure that would still hurt, I don't think that's how you hammer. I mean, I guess the hammer does say it has squared edges, and they're really sharp and dangerous, and ooh, lots of damage. So I'm sure that could still hurt, but it just, it seems silly. Oh, and just because we're restricted to using Max doesn't mean that we can't use Max's other stuff, so we can still use the Ride Pod. And even if the Ride Pod actually hits zero and is destroyed, we can just use Ride Pod Fuel, and it brings it back. There's no revival powder or anything, because it's a robot. Was I, was I? Oh, you're right, keys. That was totally worth the key. I think it's kind of interesting, but because I killed all the monsters, it says the blue seal has been broken, so we can actually be Monica. I figured the reason that they did that is probably because Max is the only one who can fish. So if it was a red seal floor and we killed all the monsters, that would make it so that Max could show up so that we could actually fish on that floor. And since they did that for Max, they might as well do it for Monica, because I don't think there's any other specific reason to have Monica. Also, before I... Actually, no, I can cut this down first. Timber! I would just like to say, what an amazingly pointless tree to cut down. Because if you look at the map, like, I've had it even more perfect. I've had it to the point... I'm so glad I figured out how to get the cursor back on here where completely around this thing was areas I could go, and like I could see this tree from every other side. The river starts here and ends here, and I have actually been on the other side there. I just think that's funny. I enjoy that. It makes absolutely no sense. Why are we walking across this tree? And this is the floor of the legendary killer snake. You know it's gonna be a special floor because it branches off in this direction. And I do vaguely remember why we go off in this direction, I think. Or at least the result of it. So we're gonna cut off here so that this episode isn't 11 million years long. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.